Hey there, this is Kim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a JSON API to Heroku. I've already built out my API. I built it using Node, Express, Connects, and Postgres. And in this video, I'll show you how to do the following three things. The first is set up an application on Heroku. The second is provision a Postgres database on Heroku. And the third is how to run connects commands to create the schema and see the production database. So I have a link to this gist in the notes for the video. If you'd like to open that up and follow along, please go ahead. So the first thing I want to do is set up and deploy just my application to Heroku. And the first couple of steps I already have taken care of. I've installed the Heroku command line tool. I've also logged into Heroku. So I'm going to hop right into step three, which is to create a Heroku app. And if I do Heroku create, all right, I've got uh, dry waters there. Beautiful. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to uh, push all of my code up to my Heroku master. So if I do git remote dash v, I only have a Heroku master. I haven't pushed this up to GitHub. Uh, best practice would be have this going up to GitHub and to Heroku. But let me add everything. Create a commit message ready to deploy to Heroku. And then I'm going to do git push Heroku master. And so uh, since I created the Heroku application and it gave me the Heroku remote, when I run that command, it's sending that code up to Heroku. And Heroku is making sense of it. It knows it's a node app, and it is launching it right now. So it tells me exactly the URL where I can go to check it out. And if I want to do that from the command line, I'll do Heroku open. All right, it says cannot get forward slash. I think I send it somewhere else. The endpoint is forward slash v1 books. Unable to acquire a connection. Hmm. Cool. All right, so my application is all set up and running. And what's happening is that Heroku is saying, I need to make a connection to your Postgres database. And we haven't set that up on Heroku. Let's look at the next thing. So uh, we're moving on to objective two, which is to add a Postgres database to Heroku. It's actually really simple how to do this. Uh, you use the Heroku add-ons command, and we're going to create a Postgres database. And we want it to be the tier hobby dev, which is free. So I'm just going to copy this command, paste it in. Beautiful. So it's showing me um, a database has been created and is available. And it's giving me the name. And it said I used uh, the add-on Heroku Postgres. Cool. So let me do, or I'll just refresh that page. And let's see if my data is available. Oh, good, I got a new error. So it's saying, as the SQL query, select all from book, relation book does not exist. I have a database now. I have Postgres set up uh, on Heroku, but now I need to give my database the schema for my table and seed the data. All righty. So before we do that, let's just read through this. Add production connection to connects. It says a production environment should be in the connects file in your root directory. Connection should be set to process.env database URL. And then in your connects file, you should have both environments. So let's look in connects. Yep, I have this environment variable that Heroku is going to figure out for me. And if I look in app.js, I also have a port. Uh, that was for the server. Heroku took care of that. All right, this next step is optional. It's if you have followed all these instructions and Heroku can't find your uh, process or your environment variables. So I'm going to skip that. And then I'm going to go right to run migrations and seeds on the production database. And so this is really cool. I have connects installed globally on my computer and I can just run the connects commands and create tables, seed those tables with data. You can do that on Heroku. All you do is you append Heroku run to the beginning. So let's do that Heroku run. Heroku run connects migrate colon latest. Awesome. 
So it looks like my migration was run on my production environment. I would like to check. And so if you know how to use psql, you can run this command, Heroku PG psql, and investigate your data in your database. So Heroku PG colon psql. All right, so I'm in my dry waters database. If I look at the data tables, I see my book table. And if I select all from book, there's nothing in there. Perfect. So I'm going to quit out of that with backslash Q. Last thing I want to do is I want to add my seed data to uh, that table. So I use the connects command and I just put Heroku run in front of it. Heroku run connects seed colon run. Awesome. So it said it ran the seed file. I want to know, so let me go into psql, and I'll select all from book. Hey, look at that. There's my data from my seeds. Very cool. All right, I'm going to quit out of that. So a uh, word to the wise, uh, Heroku creates a URL that is your database URL, and you want to keep that private. You can see mine, uh, and I'm going to delete this app as soon as I'm done recording the video. And the reason is, is if somebody knows the URL for your uh, provision database, they can just run SQL commands against that and uh, manipulate your data or just delete it completely. So that's why we put our environment variables in our gitignore files and we keep those hidden from the public. So again, a word to the wise. So what we did in this video is you saw me set up an application on Heroku. You watched me provision a database on Heroku, and then I ran connects commands to create schema and seed the production database. And just to make sure that it's working, let's look at this endpoint. Cool, there are all of the books from my seeds. Thanks for watching.